for laughter is pineapple. Just, just want to let you know. Uh, my name is William Conklin. I have lived in Los Angeles for well over a decade, but I'm originally from Portland, Oregon. That's right, go hippies, sweet. Um, my mom was a hippie. She raised me the best way she could. She did her best, but it was a little different. Um, yeah. It's weird what your parents will do when you're sick rather than take you to the doctor. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, Bob, I don't feel good. She'll be like, oh, honey, you have a temperature. Here, wrap yourself in this Navajo blanket and take a bite of this peyote by me. <laughs> If you see a bright light, don't walk towards it. Remember, keep chanting. Keep chanting. <laughs> yeah, her, her ideas of money were a little whack, too. She sucked with money. Uh, she always had the best business ideas, but no practical business sense whatsoever. Oh, man. I'd come home from school and be like, Mom, why don't we have any electricity? Well, because I invested the electric bill money on beads and feathers for our dream catcher business. As soon as it takes off, we'll be up to our asses and not champa. We can finally afford to be vegans. <laughs> she was, look, we were poor, she was creative. I, I call it hippie ingenuity. Um, she, nothing would turn out exactly the way you wanted. Even something as simple as a Halloween costume would end up completely bizarre. Be like, no. Mom, what the fuck am I? I wanted to be a fireman. <laughs> you are more than just a fireman. You are the druid fire god. You love a dog. trick or treat. And then she'd get high and eat all the good candy. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I survived. I turned into a teenager. And uh, sooner or later in families, when you're a teenager, the topic of sex and drugs has to be broached. My family, it was handled a little different. Um, I called my mom up. Mom, um, look, I have something to tell you. I'm at a party, and I'm on acid. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Don't look at yourself in the mirror. It'll just trip you off. <laughs> if you hear a marching band, it's probably just inside your head. Come along. Work on your harmonies. <laughs> Else, just try to bond with your spirit animal and remember, I love, 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 love you. you. I'm just messing with you. I don't know if any of you guys in the out crowd over here notice, but I have what is called a lazy eye. Yeah, yeah. I don't like to use the word lazy. I prefer to call it unmotivated. Uh, the weird, thing, the weird thing about this anomaly, though, is that it can happen to anyone at any time in their lives. This means you, my straight-eyed darling, so uh, take note. Um, I would love it if somebody famous caught a cross eye. I think if Brad Pitt caught a cross eye, it would become a national issue. He'd be on television delivering a PSA. Hi, hey, everybody. I'm Brad Pitt. As you all know, not too long ago, my right eye shot up inside of my skull like a rogue elevator. <laughs> my career went south, and Angelina left me for my best friend, George Clooney. That's what I knew. Something had to be done. With your help and just pennies a day, we can help straighten out this problem. Help me, help you. See eye to eye. No. Yeah. 
pineapple, motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, there's no cure. There's no cure for this. Uh, but they do have this really expensive thing called eye therapy, where you go into an office and you sit down and they put you in these little binocular things and they make you push buttons. And what's really weird about these machines is, you know, these offices haven't been updated since like the 1970s. And I started thinking to myself, that's kind of cool if all of my other doctors were sort of stuck in the 1970s. <laughs> oh, Mr. Conklin, we've done some tests. You've got a little bit of a head cold. I'm going to prescribe you some quaaludes. <laughs> I want you to drink plenty of fluids. Uh, I suggest Tab or Fresca. And, uh, by the way, uh, we're having a little party later, so uh, if you're interested, just drop your keys in the fishbowl on the way out. All right. It's not all fun and games, people. It's not all fun and games. Sometimes, uh, what I hate about having the eye, though, is some people, it's the first thing that they'll bring up if they want to, you know, insult me. As if I don't know I have it. <laughs> some some ass had it coming, hey, buddy, you've got a crossed eye. Oh, really, genius? Yeah, thanks for telling me the obvious. Look, fucko, if you're going to insult me, get creative, wow me, hurt me. Say something like, Hey, tart eye. Does that thing come with a special protective helmet? Hey, Corgi, which ad do I follow if I want to find True North? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird, though. It's, 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 a, it's a little weird. I can do the trick for you, but I won't waste your time. Um, waste it! Wait, yeah, waste it. Ready? Okay, can you guys see me? All right, no? All right, watch. Ready? One, two, there you go. That's all I can do right now. Um, it is like an open invitation to conversation with crazy people, though. <laughs> and cops. Um, you come out of a 7-Eleven, and you're accosted by some hooded street hobbit that looks... <laughs> Sounds like malt liquor and suffering. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so you have the eye of the dragon. <laughs> Prophecies foretold your arrival. Bearing a big gulp, a slim gem, perhaps a cigarette from moi. <laughs> Did I ask you a question? Have you ever considered eye therapy? <laughs> that shit looks crazy. 